All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is gonna be kind of me going over my last BOG. And I'm basically gonna be talking and discussing how to kind of conduct things. I'm basically gonna hit the whole spectrum, right? But this is kind of a way that I think everybody should go about it in gaining points. You guys will see here right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a walkthrough and let me know guys in the comments below if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff from me. If you guys like kind of seeing my tutorials, me getting into battle, me, you know, going back and talking about it and breaking things down. You know, it's kind of like after the gameplay, right? You go back in the locker room, coach sits you down on the video and you kind of discuss things. So this is me kind of basically talking to you guys about things like that. Let me know in the comments below if you, if you guys like things like this. So I think it's pretty awesome. I also kind of like the way this team conducted themselves as well. Um, you know, this is this is the best way to get good points. Um, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of like making fun of them on uh, on stream and stuff like that. But um, now that I think about it, I give these guys mad props. And um, this is going to be a little bit faster than normal. As you can see, this was normally a 20-minute clip. I broke it down to about 13 minutes just so that way it's not tons of lull time. But basically, you know, this is this is, this is is the way you want to play to get points. You want to, you know, fight these guys toe-to-toe, -to -toe, get up in their face. These guys were all about it. They were like, hey, rally me, rally me. I, I run into a lot of this. This is kind of me breaking down the scout report. I'm looking at this. You know, he's he's really well layered. I was like, all right, so this is going to be a little uphill battle. It was me and my buddy Red. Me and him basically do everything together when we're doing PvP. And as you can see, I'm doing this uh, shorthand. I guess it's not shorthand, the long way of, of changing my Monarch gear. So you guys will see it early on. People will also talk about it in the, um, the comments on stream. But um, basically what was going on is... When I would switch my Monarch gear, for some reason it airs out. So when I was doing my, my um, preliminary, you know, getting ready for the battle, I didn't. I basically have to reset it every time, and I didn't reset it. So, you know, uh, big shout out to Jeff. You know who you are out there, brother. Um, he was like, man, just take the time and do it. So I took the time and did it. Um, as you guys can, can see, you know, we're, we're basically going 50-50 with these people. I mean, it's, it's me and Red. We both got about 2 million troops so you know if we would have a couple other people this is this is also for like you smaller players and things like that if you guys got your bigger players um you know kind of uh pulling the weight kind of carrying the weight doing everything jump in there jump with them set a ghost rally of your specific preset and then once they set the rally join with them so it's not just like, you know, like two guys carrying the load. You can be a smaller player and jump in on these rallies and we can get more uh, people, you know, into the fight. You know, I got a basically a 10 million um, rally and, you know, smaller players like, yeah, these guys may hit you and zero you out. But that's also chances for me to reinforce you. It, um is kind of another, um, we went a little bit below 50%, but as you guys can see, this guy is stacked with tons of low tiers, but we just keep breaking them down. Um, but let me get back to the, the, to the lower level guys, get, you know, a preset or two, depending on how many troops you got of troops of presets that you want to send to the fight, ghost those two presets, actual fighting presets, and then ghost the rest of your troops. So that way, when I set, let's just say you only got mountain, you only got archers. Sure. Like send your archers every time then, you know, get some people into the fight, you know, help spread it out. Um, everybody just sitting around and um, getting force ported everywhere else. You're not really doing that much. So I'm going to bring that up to my alliance as well, because there was people on uh, discord and they were just like, oh, we just got force ported and me and Red are like, there's not much we can do. We're over here fighting. So if you guys all are, are the smaller players, here's another one. You know, going a little bit below 50%. We only got two guys in a rally. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a white. I'm looking right now. They got tons of archers. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a ground march. You guys can't see it because it's kind of going a little bit fast. But bear with me. I'm kind of breaking down, analyzing this, this scout report. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, man, all right, we're going to send ground. But what I was doing is I was setting up a fake rally on the other person. And I was setting them both up to to 60 minutes. So that way they necessarily couldn't see, you know, if you set one up to five minutes, people are going to be like, okay, this is the one they're going after. Right. So as you can see, pretty much every March, 
Um, you know, I'm just scouting these guys. But every rally, I was setting a, um, a fake rally. And, and that guy had a small general. When you're in the heat of the moment, that's why I was saying in my all-stars battle, um, if you're the rally setter and you're doing all the scouts, you're going to miss things. It's very difficult um, to basically do everything. So that's why there was one guy on my other that commented on the stream and said, you missed that. I got a lot going on. I'm, I'm doing stream. I'm doing scouts. I'm, I'm having issues with my Monarch gear, as you guys can see me doing it the long way. I got a lot on my plate right now. So I'm going to miss some things. So also for you smaller players and other players, you know, especially if you guys are those smaller players and you're doing those ghost rallies and you're trying to get into these things, send some scouts out, like help people out. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure this was a ground. Let's see if Scipio, did, Scipio didn't show, but I'm pretty sure that was a ground. No, that was a siege. I'm sorry. I, we hit him with siege. It was tons of archers. So tons of archers sent siege. I mean, it is what it is. Um, we could have sent ground, but I feel like, um, we actually, I think we did better with doing siege, um, because they're not going to be able to, uh, reach out and touch us. Like we're going to be able to reach out and touch them. So now here's a little lull in the fight. You know, I'm saving some reports because I want to go back and analyze them a little bit. I wish I would analyze more than I do. I definitely recommend for you guys to analyze your your wins and losses, your successes and your non-successes. And beware, you guys will see a lot of reports out there where people will just send their successes. So people, see, here you go right there. If you guys saw the error I was getting, it, uh, getting I basically get that every time. So now I'm actually going to go into resetting everyone. So if you guys have that issue, basically what you have to do, now I'm doing now I'm doing the archers, and I'm basically going to go in there, click edit, save, and then it's good. So I don't know what the glitch is with this game with that, but I get that every time. So if I don't do my preliminary um, you know, prepping for the battle, I will run into this issue, and I ran into this issue this time. So, so we will see what we got going on. This is a big lull. That's kind of why I fast forwarded it a little percentage. But when you got that lull, I was telling Red, I was like, hey, man, if I'm getting hit, let me know. So anyways, I'll talk about these guys one more time. These guys were pretty awesome. Um, these guys, you know, just sat here, went toe to toe with us. It was pretty cool. Um, these guys are basically being a nuisance the entire fight. They never gave up until like the last 10 seconds of the game. So that's kind of how you want to do it. Even if you're losing, be a nuisance, like make people work for their wins. So, and these guys, big, big props to these dudes. These are, these are continent one players. So they had crazy debuffs every, every March I was doing, I was debuffed half, per, half of my attack. So, but me and red just keep kept going at it. You know, I, I'll keep touching on this, you know, um, smaller players get in, get in the fight. You see, how, here's my fake rally. Um, this is my archers. I only healed once. I think I healed. Um, I didn't heal in this fight. It was you're not even gonna see it. It was probably like um, an hour into the uh, battlegrounds. This is only a 20 minute section, but I uh, healed some archers back just to zero out one of their players. And as you can see, we're do we're doing really well on this guy. And um, yeah, just doing the scout report every time. I know this is he's got nothing big left. It's all smaller troops. Looks what do we got? We got siege. So this is this is a good ground rally. What do I what am I? Yep, I got ground going. So did the fake rally right here. Um, I was wondering where my my general was for mounted, and I was like, oh, I still got him up. <laughs> so I had to cancel it real quick. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna do a um, a ground rally on him. I think it broke up because I was trying to find this guy. Um, so I think I was telling these guys like, where is this guy at? Let's see if we can zero him out because if he's got a I think he was only like a six six hundred million power player. Um, if he's got one of his big marches out, we could smoke him real quick. This was him right there. He was seven hundred, so I was like, maybe we'll get after him. But we, I don't think we ended up doing it. We ended up finishing off that guy with ground. Um, here it goes. I think I'm gonna set my mounted. Let's see how this goes. Nope, I just set. I just set ground. And then, oh, I set one on him so they didn't know who. As you guys can see, I don't even have my wall general on right now. <laughs> the, they didn't want to hit me, apparently. So I didn't even have my wall general on. I obviously came into this fight not really prepared. But sometimes it's like that. Okay, it looks like we're doing an archer. We're faking ground. We're faking ground going archers. Sped in there. I'm pretty sure he ghosted it. 
He had his troops showing, but he ghosted it. It kind of took a while to get all the way down there. It is what it is, guys. You're not always going to win. Like, these people that post reports, like, there's, <laughs> they're not always winning. Like, you know what I mean? Like, play your account. You're not always going to win. Stay in the fight. Don't get, don't sweat it. You know, just, just get in there and get after it. But um, if you guys want to get points, this is a good way to get points. Just get up on these dudes' faces, go, go toe to toe, zero them out, and then get buildings. Um, I ended up getting 12,000 points. Our team got, yeah, zeroed them out. Pretty sure it was ground. Yeah, Scipio came in there and, and cleaned it up. That was a big win. That was a big win. And now it's just, that reinforcement got in there late. They sent ground. Uh, they reinforced the ground. Their 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 reinforcements were a little slow, but they also, I don't think they necessarily knew where I was sending it because of that extra rally that I was I was posting. So they didn't really know. Um, could they have known? Yeah, they could see. Um, they can look in their things and see where Red was joining, but they never did. So I um. And in, in, in a caveat to that, I could have had Red join that other one. So then we had two with our people joining and faking them out that way. The main thing you just want to do is now now we're checking for other people. I'm kind of developing what I want to do. There was another lull in the fight. There's lulls in the fight. Make sure if there's lulls, make sure you're constantly doing something. You know, not just sitting around, you know, calling things out, helping other people out. Make sure you're a team player at the end of the day. That's what's going to get you wins. Um, you know, I'm looking at scout reports when I got downtime. I don't always have downtime. I'm not able to analyze everything. You know, guys will come on here and Monday night quarterback me. If that, if you don't know what that means is basically, you know, you, you tell the guy what he could have did better. Like when you're in the, when you're in the heat of the moment, especially when you got a lot going on, like I do in this, you're going to miss things. Like that's the way it is, man. You're going to miss things. Don't, don't sweat it. Just keep going. Like this is a battleground. You're going to get all your troops back. It's you know, you're going to wake up the next morning and you're going to be fine. It's not a big deal. You know, I still, I said, as you can see, I still had Johnson. He, Johnson wasn't even in my keep yet. So they could have rallied me, to be honest with you. And they probably would have did pretty well. But um, they just wanted to take the defense. Um, you know, they knew they were undergunned and they wanted to break me down. They wanted to break red down a little bit and, and um, you know, just, just take our hits. And um, to be honest with you, they weren't doing too bad. We lost that one pretty good. I think that was a ground one. Yeah, it was Scipio. You're going to lose. Like, like, you know, you're, you're going to lose. There's like, that's the, that's how life is. Like, if you lose, that's how you learn. Or if you're not losing, you're not learning, basically. So, um, and now we're just, you know, it's just one person left. Uh, <laughs> We're doing a siege rally. No, we're not doing a siege rally. I'm faking it. We're doing an archer rally. Um, I'm getting in there. Yep, we're doing archers. So now they don't know what they're doing, what we're doing. He doesn't really have any reinforcements anyway. It's because we zeroed two of his players out. This is basically going to kind of be the the end of them. Red's getting in there, and we're sending it off, speeding it up. I think this dude only takes... Yeah, we hit him for 500 right there. He's he's one shot, zero now. I think I hit him a ground. I'm looking at the scout report. I pretty much knew what I was going to send. Oh, I sent mounted. I said F it, you know. like A lot of people will hate on mounted in PvP. Uh, mounted is actually pretty decent. Um, there's a lot of talk about archers, siege, crown. Mounted is, is kind of underrated. Like, if you... And he was zeroed out. You know, if he, if you, you know, hit him with siege, kill all their siege, and then you hit him with range or whatever your order you want to do, and you kill their mounted, there's nothing wrong with sending mounted in to destroy their ground and then following up with um with ground to, to toast off their archers or or whatever. Like there's nothing wrong with using mounted. They're good, they're good troops. So, anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys kind of like the the um, the playover. I don't really know if it's called a playover, whatever. You guys know what I mean. But um, if you guys like this, let me know in the comments below. We will see you guys in the next video. We're streaming early in the morning, Christmas morning. So we'll see you guys. Have a good one.